metaphysical engineer with a look at and inside my flash gun prop. So, first things first, it's got a switch on it. Green is disarmed, red is armed. If I point it at the wall there. So it works. Turn off the switch and it should shoot one more time and then be discharged. The power source it's running off of is a if I can get this out, a 9.6 volt nickel metal hydride rechargeable battery made by Radio Shack. Got it with a hand-me-down RC car a while ago and the car was several years old before that so it's probably a 10 year old battery still works pretty well other than that there's a original trigger this was a nerf maverick until i got my hands on it and kind of ripped out all of the original nerf parts and down there is the heatsink aluminum angle heatsink for a TIP35C transistor and that is the switching element in the strobe light circuit I used as a power source. The strobe light I found in a dumpster. It didn't work when I got it. Popped it open and found some loose connections on the input side. It takes 12 volts nominal. And once those were fixed the strobe light worked fine but I had no use for it, because other than a very blinding and distracting display element, it wasn't really going to do much for me, since it's not the sort of thing you can actually have on a car, because of the other connotations of flashing lights. So, I kept it on a shelf for a couple years, then when I got this idea, I decided, why not? It's a ready-made power source. You can always throw that together. So I'll put down the camera, pull off the case, and take a look at the inside. Alright, case is off, and here are the internals. Down there is the board for the strobe light, few modifications, this gray electrolytic capacitor was, used to be flush in the board, had to move it off the board and make it flexible because it stuck out too far. This orange capacitor here bypasses the strobe timing circuit and provides a 200-ish volt source that is then dumped through this micro switch which the trigger hits trigger goes back and hits micro switch. That dumps the capacitor into the trigger transformer there, which sends a high voltage pulse to strike the flash tube, which you can see down there in the barrel. The actual reservoir capacitor is a 450 volt, 77 microfarad strobe rated capacitor. Original from the strobe light, I just gave it longer wires that used to be mounted on the strobe PCB, about where the actual barrel and flash tube are now. Just moved it over to the handle of the gun for space reasons, and it's still working fine considering that the strobe has a claimed manufacturing date of this focus is late 1988. So it's quite old. And then on the input side here, I have a 10 amp fuse, the back of the switch, and that's pretty much all of it. I'm going to give a quick couple flashes while it's on, though that's quite dangerous to do so. This capacitor now has about 400 volts DC across it. I'll just give it a few flashes. Camera didn't catch that one. Got that one. And there I have it. Turn that off, give it one more flash, and it's now discharged. That's all. Thanks for watching.